Now we are at the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2014 dress rehearsal. Well, not really the dress rehearsal, but it's a run through. And our next artist we're going to chat with is, I think, a newcomer to the contest. No, it's Andriana. Andriana, it's my eighth. It's my eighth, eighth yeah. Already? Wow. <laughs> yes, That's but it's nice to be considered a newcomer. It means I look young. <laughs> yes, you, actually, you do look, look, look very young. Uh, you're singing a song number five. It's That's uh, right. Now and Forever. That's right. Can you tell us a bit about the song? Well, it's a, it's a song about someone who uh, saw her lover after ex lover after a long time and sort of for that moment wanted the lover to come back to her and she's singing to him. Yeah, that's it. And um, it's a song written by Vinivella, the music, and Carl Spiteri, the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I love it. <laughs> how, how did you team up with the songwriters? Well, I work with the, the, the composer. I work with him in hotels and we sing at weddings. I sing with him. And so we're very, you know, we're, we're, we're good friends. And, and once upon a time he was playing this melody and I asked him, he told him like, I really like it. Can you write me a song, you know? And the lyrics writer was my ex, is my ex-husband, who is oh, still okay. very good friends with. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're still buddies and I asked him for the lyrics. He's written songs for me before, so... Yeah. Do you write uh, songs yourself? I did once, and it actually became a finalist, the song actually. I wrote the lyrics to a song once. Mm -hmm. But um, nowadays, no. Nowadays, I, I, I prefer to perform, yeah. So it's your eighth participation now? In I think it's the eighth one, yeah. Okay. So when were the first one? Can you maybe run through the years you have been Ooh, doing? I don't remember the exact years. Okay. But I remember, I can tell you who won when I was taking part. Okay. So I took part when Ira Losko won. 2002, I think. Yeah. That's right. The year of I, I won when Link, I, I passed when Leon Kirkop won. 2007. That one. 97 was 97. You're uh, testing our brains. Kiara, I don't, I don't. Kiara. 2005. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, I think Ludwig and Julie. 2004. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I really don't remember. Um, I think once when Fabrizio won with I do. 2006? Yeah. Six, right? um, then, what was the last? I forgot, my goodness. Another one when Kiara won. Well, anyway, I did quite a few. 2009 right? I was, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, amazing. it's always fun. I love it. I love being on stage. It's fun. What, what, uh, what triggers you? What, uh, what, wants, what is it that make, wants you to make, take part in this contest and eventually try to get a ticket to Eurovision? Let Why? me tell you. It's, we're in Malta. Malta is tiny. Um, we have a lot of talent, but it's the moment, the festival, the, the, the organization, the, the stage, the amount of people who watch it, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's good promotion. It's a big rush of excitement, which I think every performer, performer loves, you know, I, I just love it. It's fun to just pass for the festival, to be there, you know, with everybody. And, and obviously the Eurovision is even bigger than that, so we always aim high. <laughs> it, it's a good jumping board for, for hopefully being seen outside definitely, and, and uh, definitely. Uh, get the music contract if, if you do well. Would you actually leave Malta for that, to go and uh, leave your <laughs> beloved island and, and sing somewhere else? I, I don't, I usually, you know, I usually move day by day. If, if it ever happens, we'll decide. Okay. Many of the singers we have met and interviewed over the years, yeah. they have also other jobs. They're not full-time oh, yeah. musicians. What about you? I'm a teacher. I teach. Okay. Yeah, I teach biology. I've been teaching for 17 years now. And um, then I sing in the evenings, you know, I sing in hotels, I sing in pubs and weddings, functions. I keep busy. Yeah. And I present a little bit on TV as well. I, okay. You know, Tell I, us about the programs you present. Well, I, um, uh, on the Maltese TV, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I had a couple of programs. Right now I'm doing nothing though, because I like to take a break between productions, you know. Okay. But a couple of years ago, I had uh, I was taking part in a very popular program called Minimisu on the Maltese Islands, which was very popular. It was fun. I was presenting and I was singing. And at the moment, I'm on a break. Then we'll see. Hey, we're always waiting for opportunities. What do you actually prefer, singing, presenting, or teaching? No, no. Let me tell you. I I feel I always say I'm blessed because every job I chose, I happen to love it. And for example, school is is work, but it's also lots of fun. And you know, you have to love your students. Four of my students are singing against me. Oh! I have Daniel Testa. I used to yeah. I used to teach him. Wow! Um, uh, Davinia Pacha used to teach yeah. her. Corazon. I used yeah. to teach her. And Christabel was at my school. So yeah, I'm the eldest of them. How amazing! <laughs> so yeah, this, right? but you know, I mean, it's it, it's a fun job as well. Um, but obviously, the, the dream is the, the, the singing. I love to sing. You know, it's what mm -hmm. makes me me. But I must admit, I just and I enjoy my teaching and I enjoy my presenting. It's, it's I feel very blessed in that regard. Music makes you makes you happy and everybody else happy. Uh, uh, yeah, I do my best to let that work. Yeah. What, what uh, are the future plans for you after the uh, Eurovision Song Contest in Malta? Well, um, uh, at the moment, I don't know. I mean, 
well, my one of Vinny, the, the the actual pianist, is releasing an album, and obviously I'm going to be supporting him in that. You know, um, uh, I'm thinking of releasing my own single as well, um, uh, and that's well, I'll keep working, eh? We'll see. Whatever opportunity comes, we'll take it. <laughs> if if uh, listeners and fans would like to know more about you, can they find out via website or Facebook page? Well, I'm on Facebook. I have two two sites on Facebook because since you represent a remote, a lot of people add you, you know. And yeah, yeah. so I have the, that 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 Facebook site and then also my personal site. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm on YouTube and. Excellent. No. <laughs> and like so many of the other artists, we've already touched on the fact that you seem to have about three careers all at once. Yeah. Uh, uh, we've decided that uh, every day in Malta lasts 48 hours because all of your careers would be yes, just each Mal one would be one. The Maltese else. can multitask a lot, you know? Uh, and we get better with age, you know? It, it gets, you know. But but you're far too young to get better with age. How sweet you are. No, I am not, not young. But yes, shall yes. I say, I don't think I should. No, no, don't say People no, ladies. Go don't look say it up. No. You have to go look it up. <laughs> Work a little bit for it. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking up on Wikipedia. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the experience again and doing it. this again? Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, it's fun. I mean, tonight there's a dress rehearsal. You get to wear your outfit. I'm very nervous about my dress and you know the excitement of the girly things. And then there's obviously the performance and the voice. And you're thinking of your lyrics. You know, it's a rush. It's great. It's and fun. you're enjoying every minute of it. Yes, and I that's make, the way I it should be. And I'm sure the audience will be enjoying it. Our listeners will have enjoyed the interview as well. I hope so. Thank you very much indeed Thank for you. talking to us. Thank you. We wish you all the very best of luck Thank you so much. in the Eurovision Song Contest Malta 2014. Thank you so much. Andrea Nadia Baptista. Now and forever, song now five. Now and forever, song five.